All right, here is an irregular dividend growth problem. And so the, 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 the growth is irregular over a, a short period here. It's the first three years. And then um, after that, dividend growth becomes constant. And so we have something a little bit more manageable um, at, the, at the end. So let's start by writing down a timeline for what we know. So we have expectations of the first three dividends, and those expectations are 234, 221, and 154. Okay, so we know that from the problem. We also know that after the third dividend, we're gonna have constant growth of 6% per year indefinitely. And so going forward, we're gonna grow at 6% per year, okay? So what do we need to do? Well, we, we've already got the first three dividends, and so we know those are gonna go into our valuation frameworks. So we're gonna find present values of those. We can just find some terminal price, so a price at time three that we could stick in here in the timeline, uh, we would be uh, essentially done. And fortunately, we can do that because we know that there's gonna be constant growth uh, from time three forward. And so in other words, we know that the price in year three is gonna be the next dividend after that, so D4 divided by R minus G. The Gordon model is gonna apply um, at time three. Okay, so we can calculate D4. That's gonna be D3 times one plus G. We can take care of the numerator and we should be able to insert numbers now and go. So 154 times 1.06 divided by 0 0.108. So that's R, it's up here in the problem, minus 0 0.06. That's the constant growth here. And so what's P3? P3 is equal to 34.0083. All right, so what then, uh, what then can we do? Well, we can take all of this work we have here and use it to insert another number on our timeline. So it's gonna be 34.0083. And then we just wanna find uh, the present value of all of this. So we need the present value of that. We'll find the present value that's going to equal the price. Okay, so now this is just a, um, a, a, a present value of multiple cash flow problem. So the price, our estimate for the price should be the first dividend. This kind of one period plus the second dividend. This kind of two periods plus now now we've got the sum of the third dividend in P3. And all that is gonna be discounted three periods. And that gets us P0 of $30.05. So there's our answer.